CompTIA A plus Core 1, 220 1101, Practice Exam. Questions 6 through 10. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So, are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 6. A user's PC is experiencing network connectivity issues. The technician verifies the network outage and proceeds to locate the corresponding port on an unlabeled patch panel. What network tool is most appropriate for the technician to use in order to identify this port? The answer is C, Toner Probe. A toner probe is an ideal tool for locating an unlabeled network port on a patch panel. The technician can use the toner part to send a signal from the user's PC end of the cable and then sweeps the probe across the patch panel. The probe detects the signal and responds with an audible tone when it's held near the correct port, thus allowing the technician to identify which port corresponds to the user's computer without the need for visible labeling. Question 7. During a presentation in a conference room, a user finds that while the projector is displaying video, there is no accompanying sound. What is the most effective solution to fix the audio problem? The answer is D. Use an HDMI connection. Choosing an HDMI connection can quickly resolve audio issues when a projector displays video without sound because HDMI transmits both audio and video signals. If the current setup uses a connection like VGA or DVI, which only carries video, the user won't hear any sound. By switching to HDMI, the audio should be transmitted seamlessly to the projector, thereby streamlining the setup and eliminating the need for separate audio cables. Question 8. A client has observed that their computer does not exceed a 100 megabits per second data transfer rate, despite having a gigabit NIC installed. Upon inspection, the technician realizes that the network cable is responsible for the limitation. Which category of network cable is most likely being utilized? The answer is A, CAT5. A Category 5 or CAT5 cable is likely causing the data transfer rate to cap at 100 megabits per second, despite the computer having a gigabit NIC. CAT5 cables have a maximum bandwidth of 100 megabits per second, which is inadequate for gigabit Ethernet's requirements. To achieve the higher speeds that the gigabit NIC supports, a CAT5E or higher rated cable, which can handle 1 gigabit per second, would be necessary. Therefore, replacing the outdated CAT5 cable with a more advanced category would resolve the speed limitation issue. Question 9. In a widely used video conferencing application, a user tries to activate their webcam without success, despite it functioning the day before. What steps should be taken first to resolve this webcam issue? The answer is A. Close other applications that are using the webcam. To fix a webcam not activating in a video conferencing app, the first step is to close any other programs that might be using it. Webcams can only be accessed by one application at a time, so if another application has not released the webcam, the conferencing software won't be able to connect to it. Shutting down any potential conflicting software allows the webcam to be accessed by the desired application. Question 10. An individual was unable to enter a data center when the entrance security was recently enhanced. The new system operates on a 13.56 MHz shortband radio frequency, allowing mobile devices to be used for entry authentication. What feature must be activated on the mobile device to allow for this authentication? The answer is C, NFC. 
Near Field Communication, or NFC, operates at the 13.56 MHz frequency and is designed for short-range communication between compatible devices. This technology is commonly used for contactless payment systems, identity documents, and secure access control, such as entering secure buildings. For a mobile device to authenticate and gain access through the new security measures, its NFC capability must be enabled. This allows the device to communicate with the security system's reader, verifying the user's credentials for entry. So did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.